a how are you of a yogi who wants some more strength in their body and some more flexibility well this is for you this practice was created for you what here to inspire some strength within you and namaste is a tradition in the western cultures in india namaste is said as people bow to each other and it's honoring that inner divine within you and some people might think what is this divine what does that even mean because it's really confusing but it's just that good part of you so whenever you hear somebody say namaste it's just i guess in our culture being respectful or just honoring your love to them so come here with an open heart and an open mind Getting those sit bones up on the pillow, creating a little bit of a pelvic tilt. We use the pillow or the blanket just to tilt our pelvis slightly forward. Settling into this pose, finding what feels good. You can crisscross applesauce with one foot over the other. Allow one foot to lay in front. In this practice, we're going to tune into our body and tune into what feels good for us. Softly closing your eyes, softening your gaze, finding your drishti. In yoga, a drishti is a focal point. Creating that tiny sliver of an eye, one-tenth of an eye in that open, barely peeking through the light, finding that drishti. Breathing, an organic breath in. Simply observing your breath coming in. Take your breath flowing out. On the next inhale, breathing deeply down into the abdomen. In through the nose, allowing the shoulders to hold back, elongating the spine, raising the heart. Or if it feels better for you if you've had a really long day and really just want to chill, lay down on the mat or sukhasana. You can find a surrender pose. I just get too relaxed in this pose and it makes me want to go nine night. So as we're tuning into our breath, tuning in, placing one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly, making sure you really get that expansion in that lower belly and that diaphragm. It's diaphragmatic. The reason we're doing this is in yoga, we're connecting our breath to movement. Exhale, beautiful work. Putting the soles of the feet onto the earth, allowing one leg to drop down, letting go on the fat pillow, hugging one knee up to the chest, rotating in the opposite direction, peeling the shoulder away from the ear, extending the spine, tuning into the Four points of the feet, two in the front and two in the heel, allowing all fours of those four points of the feet to ground here as you stretch. And choose one of those spaces that you were just breathing into to breathe into. Feel the compression, the twist of the torso, the twist of the spine. Feel any weird creaks or pops or pains or discomfort from the previous workout or Climb, crossing the foot over the midsection, rooting down all points, four points of the feet into the earth, tuning into the opposite foot as if there was an invisible wall pushing into those four points, hugging into the, uh, the leg, bringing it in, becoming mindful of twisting. We're not going so deep because we're having this super bang and deep stretch, finding a soft stretch, a soft that feels good, rolling the shoulder back. And just finding that happy edge of not enough, too much, being again mindful of what feels good. Breathing into that side rib. Feeling the compression on the other side. Inhaling. Exhaling. Neutralizing the spine. Shaking out the feet. Wiggling the feet around. Taking 
taking a minute to tune into the feet. Rubbing out, maybe rubbing out the kneecaps. Move that patella around. Feel that MCL, that ACL, patellar tendon. Give your body a little love, a little TLC. Rub up on those legs, get those quads. Rub out those tight, tightness, maybe under your butt, a little bit of your gluteus, gluteus minimus maximus, those gluteus, gluteus. Down the calves, rubbing down. Don't we all just like yearn for touch? It just feels good. Inhaling the opposite knee up. Ooh, get your eyeball. Inhaling the opposite knee up, hugging it into the body. Exhaling and twisting the opposite direction. Being mindful of the integrity of the spine and what feels good. Rolling that shoulder away, focusing the four points of the feet onto the earth and that visible wall. Breathing into the chest piece. Exhaling. Letting go. Inhaling in. Neutralizing the spine, rolling the shoulders back, crossing that leg over the midline. Inhaling in, hugging that knee in. Exhale to the opposite direction. Rolling that shoulder away, posting those feet into the earth. And know as you exhale, exhale is one of our most powerful forces. As we exhale, we allow ourselves to let go. Let go of anything that you need to let go. Tuning in, coming back to center. Bring both of the knees up to the chest. Tuning into an intention. Setting a little intention for this practice and why we're here. We usually do that earlier, but better late than never. Butterflying those legs out. An intention of maybe there's a big old rock you want to climb, something you want to summit. Is there something going on that you're just like, Oh, I want to do that, and I haven't done that yet. Allowing those legs to come straight down. Posting the arms behind you. This is called Dandasana. It is just sitting straight up. So this to the naked eye. Setting your intention. Did you get there? Did you set that intention? Opening up. Trying something new. Something different. As we get in the right position for this, this actually is like a nice movement. Tuning into the arms, rooting down. As we make starfish hands, we're spreading our fingers in front, creating energy between our fingers, and really moving down like through the soles of our feet, pressing those into the earth, pressing the sit bones, and rolling the shoulders back up. And when doing Dandasana correctly, moving up, feeling the length of that spine, feeling that core tighten, and letting those feet straighten out. In yoga, it's very important to always keep softness in the elbows, and buoyancy in the knees, but keeping strong. Exhaling, lengthening that spine, feeling what it feels like to feel good here. Beautiful work. Inhaling, soles of the feet facing the earth. Inhaling for Pari Purnavasana, half boat pose. Inhaling, one leg up, feeling the strength in that spine. There's this new theory out about not really engaging our core, but lengthening through our spine. Feeling those feet power into the earth, bringing energy out through the fingertips, inhaling, exhaling, feeling maybe a little shake, a little tremble, checking into the integrity of the four points of the foot, tuning into your shoulders, rolling them away, elongating, finding strength in that spine, and keeping a softness to that neck, inhaling that leg and dropping it down to the earth, exhaling for the opposite foot straight up. Creating that Shakti toe, that energetic toe. Feeling what it feels like to be here. Stretching back, elongating through the spine, breathing deeply. Inhaling, exhaling as you let go. Inhaling both of the feet to the earth. Maybe finding a free little crouching forward, elongating the spine back. Feeling a free movement here. Rotating the shoulders forward. We're we'll teaching the show this afternoon. I know. Would you like to join us? This is the show, I know. Must my boy, my wee boy. Inhaling both legs up, keeping a soft 90 degree angle bend in the knees, allowing those hands to go straight out as you keep the integrity of the spine. Breathing in, finding the strength through that core, 
without really like overdoing it and grunting, just like letting it happen. A two-year-old never has to be told what to do. Their body just will fall into place and so do ours. Inhale, straightening those legs out as good as it feels. Finding a nice dynamic movement as you bring those knees up and exhaling down, bringing your body down as deep as feels good. Inhaling, maybe starfishing those arms out to what feels good. Exhaling, starfishing out. Coming up, woo, finding that burn. Starfishing, coming up to what feels good. Allowing those legs to get that 90 degree angle. Holding, holding, feeling what it feels like to be alive, mindfully dropping the feet down to the earth. Inhaling, feeling the power we've just created. Nice work. Inhaling, bringing those legs behind us. Coming up off the knees for some cow cats. Finding a few free movements at the hips, moving those hips around, back and forth. And finding a few cow and cats, allowing the spine and the tail and the chin to raise up to the ceiling. Tuning into that chin, gravitating, rocking towards the tail, moving it in, soft bend in the arms, tuning into if there's chicken wings. Lengthening to the spine, finding that journey of the spine, moving straight up, feeling what it feels like to move at the spine, grabbing the tail out of feeling what it feels like to be right here, grounded in the earth now. I'm facing you. Exhaling the right foot out to the side, keeping a soft bend in the leg, tuning into the four points of the feet and the toes, lifting up the toes. Allowing them all to settle, feeling what that feels like. Lengthening through the opposite leg and tuning in to the hind foot, the ankle, and the knee, and the hip. Tuning in if our leg's too far out, too far in, if they're slouching too far out or too far in. Feeling what feels good as we mindfully tune into our body, walking our arms to the opposite side. Lengthening through the opposite arm, shoulder over shoulder. Allowing this hip to roll out, finding strength in that glute. And feeling this nice, beautiful side gait. Well, half gait around me. It's the opposite stretch of half gait. Inhaling through that spine to that side body. Coming to the center for the real, the half gait neutral. Coming back down, creeping down, opening up that opposite side. Feeling what it feels like to stretch and open. Inhaling arms together. Hands at the hips. Knees kissing knees. Exhaling the opposite foot out to the side. Allowing yourself to tune into that foot to move the ankle and the knee. Striking all the way up to that hip. Tuning to the other foot. From the opposite foot to the ankle and the knee. Tuning into walking those arms up. Elongating, powering up, opening up that hip like it's a book opening up a story of your life. Imagine like maybe you're getting into a grip and you're gripping it. A giant rock and you're ready to grab at something feeling a little fiery inside. Inhaling, walking those arms back to center. Allowing yourself to roll out. Starfish hands on the mat, tuning in, popping those toes up, bringing that butt shooting straight up into downward facing dog, powering through the arms. Be mindful of our arms, making sure we're not too chickeny. Dropping your heart down, tuning into what feels good. Walking out the feet here. Allowing your body to settle down into the strong dog, down dog. Maybe coming up on those toes, feeling the power and the strength of the arm. Coming back, inhaling straight up on those toes. Exhaling back. Inhaling straight up that opposite foot. Tuning into the foot on the mat. And the hip on the opposite side of the turning out, keeping it facing down to the mat. Inhaling, bringing that in, chin, tucking it to me. Exhaling that leg straight up and allowing the heel to drop across that midsection. Opening up that hip while we're still tuning into the starfish hands, pushing off of the mat. Inhaling into that side body. Exhaling, taking two breaths at your own pace here. Beautiful work, strong body, strong arms. Inhaling, allowing that leg to point straight back up, tucking that straight in and moving that forward. 
And if when you get up here, your foot is not quite where you imagined it to be, you can grab with this opposite hand and walk it up a little bit further. Coming down for a little mini runner's lunge. If you have a blanket and you need to stay down, if you're more of like repairing your body and resting a little bit, staying down on this knee is a very good idea. Just keep you right here. Posting up on those feet or allowing your foot to stay down, walking both of the arms on the inside of the leg, coming down to what feels good to the elbows, or maybe it feels good to just stay up and bend a little bit down. Allowing this leg on the opposite side to melt down as you come down and allow your body to open. If you're feeling like, oh yeah, bring it, I want a little bit deeper. Power up on those hind feet, power up, squeeze through, through the inner thigh, power up. Keep your gaze softly down at that drishti, that focal point, feeling a little shake, breathing. As you're still tuning in to the front foot and allowing those toes to root down, feeling the arch lift through the foot. Inhaling three, strengthening rest. Exhale, you lift. Inhaling, feeling your body, being mindful of every piece of your body. Exhaling that knee down, allowing ourselves to come up to our hands. Inhale, putting the arm on the opposite foot. Maybe coming up just here for a little runner's lunge. Staying right up here, feeling the strength of those, those legs. Powering up, squeezing the inner thighs together. Allowing yourself to feel the strength. Teeing your arms out to the side. Find that balance. If you have no balance here, you can drop back down. This is okay. If you're feeling it, strengthen up. Find that space. Come to that intention. Allow those hands to come back to Anjane Mudra. Powering up through the glutes. Feeling what it feels like to be here alive in this body. Hands at Anjane Mudra. Twisting at the midline. To the opposite direction. Finding the integrity of that spine during that twist. Softening that body. Inhale, and feeling the gentle compression and expansion of the ribs. Inhale, feeling your strength. Exhale, two breaths at your own rate. Inhale, beautiful work. Exhale, allowing your body, your spine to come back to neutral. Arms gently, mindfully come back down. Kiss the mat, allowing that knee to touch. Powering up, downward facing dog. Feeling the energy you created. Feeling your legs locking them out. Finding maybe feel a little side twist, twisting and opening up here, this down dog. Twisting and opening up that body. Maybe taking a few little slinky moves at your own pace. Feeling what feels good. Inhaling that opposite leg straight up. Allowing it to settle for a moment. Inhaling that knee, tucking up to the chin. Exhaling straight back up to the ceiling, allowing that back heel to drop over that midline. Opening up, tuning into the hip, letting that hip open up a little bit, tuning into the arms, powering up, feeling that inner strength. Beautiful, beautiful hard work, right? I know some people think yoga, it's like for those weaker days, it's be very strong and powerful to, to hold these poses. Inhaling, tucking that knee straight up for that runner's lunge. Like I said, if that knee didn't plant, if that foot didn't plant where you wanted it to, lift up the opposite foot. Allowing that back knee to rest down. Please go. Inhaling, choosing what feels good. If it felt better to stay down on that knee last go around, you can choose to stay down. But if you chose to stay down and want to go up, challenge yourself. Allowing yourself to walk your arms in on the opposite leg, dropping down, allowing this knee to drop down a little bit, coming down onto those elbows, or up on the arms to what feels good. Staying here, shining the back side of the heart, really tuning in to this foot. And if you need to, scooch back a little bit, scooch back, powering up through that knee, squeezing up on the opposite leg if that feels good, if it feels good to stay. Inhaling, take three deep breaths. Breaths, breathing in strength, breathing out strength, 
Breathing in compassion for yourself. Exhaling compassion. Just one of those deep compassionate breaths. Breathing in compassion. Exhaling compassion. Beautiful work. Allowing yourself to drop down on the knee if you need to. We're coming back up for that strong runner's lunge. Holding up and squeezing here. Or if you need to, you can stay down for your spinal twist. Coming up, powering up, squeezing those quads together. Those inner thighs, the, the hips, tuning in to the headlights and the front knee. If it's going too far forward or too far back, tuning into the foot. If you're gripping, gripping your toes in, you don't want to be gripping so much. Keeping them there, arms up to a T, arms to a neutral. Twisting at the hip, inhaling up, feeling a softness, a sense of surrender. Allow yourself a little bit of peace here. Feeling gentle yet pretty hardcore workout inhaling deeply exhaling beautiful one more deep compassionate breath for yourself as you're powering up exhaling beautiful work allowing yourself to neutral spine arms straight down feet back to downward facing dog walking out the feet allowing yourself to slowly walk or jump up to the front of your mat i just ask if you choose to jump be mindful of your shoulders and mindful if you can do a few little froggy hops to get your way up or you know walk me walks allowing yourself to hinge forward for latasana just a nice forward fold powering through the four points of the feet turning into the ankles and the knees coming up for a nice flat back moving the wrinkles wrinkles from your neck Allow yourself to roll out your shoulders, dropping back down, ragdolling back and forth. Maybe grabbing elbow to elbow, swaying back and forth, tuning into the knees, feeling strength in the knees and the hips. Exhale through the back of the heart, lifting through the hips, not being swayed. Coming back up, rolling up at the shoulders, rolling up, allowing that head to wake up. Inhale, facing the right foot, facing the short edge of the mat, tuning in that that foot is truly pointing and looking down. Exhaling this back foot, finding a stance that works for you. If you're too close together, you're not going to get a deep stretch. We're going for a warrior two here with Rasmus two. Finding what feels good. We don't want to be on a straight tightrope. It's more like kind of like a little steady of skis, skiing your legs a little further apart. Tuning in, we're kind of at a little bit of a a corner of our room here. Powering down through those four points of the feet, powering up, keeping a soft bend in that hind leg will you create a nice bend to that right leg, adjusting to what feels good, tuning into that foot and the ankle and the knee. As you peek down, filling up in that foot, those hips elongating those arms to a T. As you peek down, seeing only the little corner of the big toe. When you're back too far, you can see all the toes, that's not quite where you want to be, but if that's all you could do today, that is fine. Just be mindful, not going too far. You're throwing up your whole shin, your shin and your knee and your hip alignment. Elongating the arms. Exhaling, moving at the shoulders. Mindfully moving, plumbing those hands up. Rotating that head. Feeling mindful what it feels like in the legs, in the abdomen, in the shoulders as you rotate. Exhaling down the top of that leg. Inhaling the arm up over the head. Exhaling, finding a nice soft lateral bend. If you need to stagger your leg, leg a little bit, you may. Letting the arm to lift up and feel that shoulder open up, swirling and moving it around. Opening it, mindfully feeling the ligaments, the tendons, opening up at the shoulder. Feeling what it feels like to power through the hands. Mindfully being present here. Just holding that arm up. Maybe creating a little bit of a dynamic movement, bringing that arm down and stretching it overhead. Feeling, feeling like you want a little bit more. Allowing those arms to stretch straight out. Inhaling the knee. Exhaling. Feeling that burn, strengthening through the inner thighs. Inhaling. Exhaling those arms straight up, bringing the arm down. Powering back up for our reverse warrior coming back. Allowing the arm to creep down, opening up at that thigh, opening up, keeping that shoulder nice and open, creating energy as you're pushing 
straight up to the ceiling. Inhale, maybe straightening out that little that front leg and finding a little bit of a free movement. Something that feels good, or it just feels good to stay. Stay. Feel. Inhaling, bending up at that knee. Exhaling, legs facing knee. Exhaling, keeping that pint, the leg that was in the front now, and turning it towards the long edge of the mat. And relocating the front foot, kind of getting back on our skis, finding a nice position that works for us. The front foot facing the short edge of the mat, powering through those four points of the feet in the front, and the hind leg is soft, bending that knee, turning into that bend, as we spoke about before. Peeking down, see that big toe? Elongating, opening up that back, both opening up those arms to a Inhaling, mindfully moving, not at the hips, shoulders. Feel what it feels like to move at the shoulders. Now feel what it feels like to hinge at the hips. Feel, do you feel all those different muscles opening up? It's quite a miracle when you actually tune into your body. It's like, oh, I have all these muscles I never knew existed. I feel like until I just recently became mindful of the anatomy of my body, I was kind of flopping around or like grinding hard just to do something to say I did it. And now if you can just engage, Inhaling, ah, along that arm, down that opposite leg, powering up, opening up, keeping the integrity, opening up that arm, opening up that hip of that look, just peeling them open. Exhale, straightening up that front leg, finding a little free movement here, moving back, maybe moving a little bit forward while well, you're still engaging on the floor, moving around, finding those power in your legs. In your arms. Inhaling, exhaling down to that knee. Coming down. Inhaling that arm straight up, mindfully tuning into that shoulder joint. Feeling what it feels like to find a full rotation as you open up and extend that shoulder joint. You can really feel all of those shoulder ligaments and tendons opening up. Staying here for me is where it's at. Exhaling, opening up, inhaling, going the opposite direction. Not weighing too hard on this opposite arm. More powering from that side body. Opening up the opposite direction. Feeling that shoulder open and wrap around. Nice work, strong work. Inhaling up, exhaling those feet facing each other. Heel toe, heel toe feet together, shaking it out a bit. Nice work, right? Good job. Feeling strong and strengthening that body. Walking those feet out a little bit. Facing the feet facing the short edge of the mat. Choosing whatever foot you choose. Going in for a lovely warrior three. This is a really strengthening pose. And as we do this strengthening balancing pose, we're going to find that drishti, which is a focal not a vocal, a visual point. Visualizing and staring at a point. This is, you can just watch for a moment, this is the warrior three. And it's the just opening up and surrendering. Coming forward as you planting down on the foot, tuning into the leg, the ankle and the knee and the hip, and allowing those hips to get power and moving and opening up. This is one version. Standing up, removing the wrinkles from your neck, allowing those arms to float up like you're an airplane. Inhaling, allowing the arms to come up. You can also start here in hands, up at the behind your back of your back, like a fin. I tell my kids this is the shark because I have the jaws. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Inhaling, mindfully rocking, tilting forward at the hips, not at the spine, the hips moving forward. Focusing on that drishti if you're looking for something a little bit deeper. Coming straight forward, holding those arms straight out. Inhaling back. If that, those are both feeling too deep, you can come down to the mat on all fours. Inhaling, extending one arm, exhaling, extending the opposite leg, bringing that leg across like we did earlier, and allowing the opposite arm to reach and grab back. And inhale, moving that shoulder away from that leg. Inhaling up. This is just a nice, gentler 
Warrior, which is still a pretty hardcore, beautiful warrior. Okay, together, inhaling, finding that balance. Exhaling, visualizing, just like you would if you're on a big climb or a summit. You're ascending a big mountain. Are you gonna make it to the top without visualizing yourself getting there? No, you gotta let it go. You have to come inside to that energetic heart and visualize. Come into that intuitive center and see yourself, like see yourself conquering all the greats, the great people. See themselves here first. Even me, I see myself doing something. I'm visualizing this. I visualize making this for you. I visualize using that intuitive center. On this, this leg, maybe tuning in to the four points of the foot, feeling what it just feels like to power off and where you need to go. If you were automatically feeling wobbling up to one side. Where you need to be. Inhaling, making that contact. Inhaling those arms up. Power into the points of the feet. Power straight up through the ankle to the knee to the hip. Tuning into that hip, keeping that hip in. Tuning into that body. Letting go of those wrinkles of the neck. Powering through. Tuning into that drishti. Surrendering, allowing yourself to let go. Finding that inner strength as you. Grow and lengthen through that foot, lengthen through the fingertips, shooting energy down through the toes, creating energy through the toes. Surrendering and letting go, visualizing yourself following your dreams, summiting, accomplishing the goal, whatever it is. Inhaling, surrender. Exhaling, surrender. Inhaling, strength. Exhaling, strength. Inhaling, love. Exhaling, love. Inhaling those arms down. Gently allowing that body to come back down. Powering up and allowing yourself to feel what it feels like here on the floor. Breathing in, surrender. Exhaling, surrender, whatever it is that you choose to do. Inhaling, finding that focus, grounding down, rooting and lengthening through that spine. Inhaling at your own pace. Slowly, mindfully feeling that body. Tune in to where you need to be. Stay with what feels good. Powering up. Using that visual point. Surrendering. Moving the wrinkles from your neck. Powering up if you're wobbling, it's fine. Find that surrender. Let it go. Let go of whatever it is you need to let go. Allow yourself to be present here. And inhaling. Growing up through that leg, finding length in that spine. Inhaling, beautiful work, surrender. Let it go. Inhaling, beautiful work. Exhaling those arms down the side. Exhaling, woo, that leg straight down. My body was trying to rush out of it. Inhaling, walking it out, shaking it out. Allowing yourself to absorb all of that energy, all of that feeling of, wow, that you just created the front of the mat, exhaling forward, folding down, hinging down, allowing yourself to come down, crouching down into a little bit of a package and taking a moment to be here, allowing yourself to collect yourself, coming in maybe to a little roly-poly, hugging your body in for a more upward child's pose, a devotional pose, taking a moment here. Inhaling, tuning into that spine, feeling what it feels like to roll back and roll forward, lengthening up that spine, moving that neck out. Because we're coming for our final poses of relaxation. Gently exhaling the spinal column, the vertebrae, down onto the earth. Little vertebrae by vertebrae. Gently vertebrae. Gently up to the shoulders, the neck. Down the Inhaling, hold the knees up to the chest for a double point. Rolling those knees into a circle, side to side. Massaging that lower back into the mat, feeling what it feels like to just feel good and relax. Knowing that this practice is coming to an end, that your body is going to really relax. 
Exhaling the right leg down to the earth. Powering through those four points of the feet, tuning into the foot, even as lifted up to our chest. Powering through those invisible walls. Inhaling that knee to our nose or our forehead. Breathing two accepting breaths. Exhaling down to the mat. Inhaling one more. Raising the nose, the forehead. Exhaling down, releasing, opposite leg, bringing in the right knee to the chest, powering for this single leg, quick reliever, inhaling, nose, or forehead back to the chest. Exhaling down. Inhaling, two compassionate breaths for yourself. Inhaling, raising both of those knees up to the chest, arms out to a T, being mindful of your spine, leading the legs to the right side of the body, while still tuning into the shoulders of the shoulders. Blades are raising off of the carpet or your board mat, putting the blanket under those legs so your shoulder blades can still keep intact to the earth. Powering through the arms, feeling that nice. Open your twist to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Allow yourself to melt down as you're relaxing. Inhaling, knees and the spine to neutral, maybe staying for a moment. Exhaling, legs to the opposite side. Keeping those shoulder blades. to the earth. And it's feeling my little people needs. He's telling me he's so, he's so bored because I'm so boring. Knees to the chest. Squeezing up for one last hugging, hugging, hugging. Keep on my knees with me. Huggy, huggy, huggy. Exhaling, releasing those legs. Allowing yourself to settle into the spinal pose of surrender, savasana. So savasana, a lot of people like to say, I don't need that final pose of surrender. Savasana is, to me, it's an integral part of yoga. It's just the letting go. It's just the same as how sleep helps our body repair. At the end of the day, just allowing yourself to let go of that down. So feel what it feels like to just lay and be here. Whether or not you have a crazy six-year-old who's trying to give you stunning grass here. <laughs> I love you so much and thank you so much for being here. And you're amazing. Just showing up to this practice, you're amazing. Namaste. Oh, <laughs>